Oh shit, hold on, we need to... You need to sort this out. Hello friends. I sound like a man. Let's ignore. Today, very simply put, I'm going to teach you how to catfish, alright? Today's title is very self-explanatory. You're going to get ready with me, see the whole process. Long, lengthy, hard process of making me look acceptable. I'm probably going to be spewing my insights up throughout this whole video, but let's just ignore, ignore. <coughs> Let's jump right in, Catfish 101. Pretty off to a shitty start to be honest because my tan is not looking great. What's new? We've got two nails broken. Again, what's new? I'm just staying on brand. First off, foundation, aka cement. You want to put on a foundation that's 10 times too dark for your skin tone. Everyone on the internet will call you orange. But we ignore. We are not discriminatory. We do not discriminate against any colors on this channel. People can't grasp this shit. I am matching my face to my body. People who don't wear fake tan just seem to not be able to grasp. Oh my god, that is not your skin tone. Well, no shit. This isn't my skin tone. <laughs> you see, we had some unwanted visitors, some extra friends. This one's huge. I have not had spots like this in ages. I just could not leave them alone. We'll just turn that into a freckle later on. <gasps> Giving you all my catfish tips today. I have been absent because I have not been well. As you can hear from my voice, literally, I don't know what I'm going through. I literally sound like I'm going through puberty. Next up, Concealer. I'm gonna use this to cover all bags. The only bags we want around here Oh my god, is this what you're teaching young girls these days? I teach makeup, Sharon. What are you teaching them? To sit behind your computer screen and give abuse to young girls online. Poor Sharon, she gets an awful hard time, doesn't she? Always picking on Sharon's. Powder. We powder because we want this shit to last all day. This is like a sealer. It's to stop the real us coming through throughout the day because that's not what a catfish wants. I'm trying to think if I got anything interesting to tell you guys. Probably not. Oh, I'm looking into buying a house. Yeah, I just need to move out and the whole concept of rent just does not sit well with me. I don't spend my money. I literally don't. Literally, the only thing I've spent my money on so far is cameras and shit. For this is not something that's very easily done. By the way, I don't want to give off the impression of that oh, I'm just gonna buy a house. I have saved very hard. Like I said, I have not spent any money this year at all. Bronzer to get rid of the egginess or try get rid of the egginess. This always looks really scary before eyebrows, so do not, do not judge. Blusher, just to add some colour back, you guys know, I basically dip my whole face in blusher. It just makes you look human. Look at it, it's almost gone. Highlighter. Because how are we going to catfish and be an Instagram hoe if we're not blinding all the competition, you know? This highlighter palette is so good. Mitchell did such a good job. It literally is like... Instagram highlighter But in real life, you know, it's just like the tones are quite white You just be careful that you don't go in with like a big white stripe or anything like that, you know That would give your catfish away using my highlighter brush Obviously the brush sets are flying out guys. You are the best. You are the real MVPs Put me to bed. Put me to bed. Put me in the grave. Eyebrows because my natural ones are shit <laughs> Who's with me? Using my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil Shade 3. I actually need my eyebrows done. You know, that's the look I'm going for. What do you mean? Like, I want them to be furry and rugged looking. Excuse you. You know what I realised and what I think is hilarious is the more natural of a look you want to go for, natural skin, natural brows, natural whatever, the more products you got to use. I've got all my friends using the Benefit pencils. They were all using like pomades, you know, like little pots, little gel pots. And they're the hardest things to use. I used to use a pomade all the time and then I found this guy. And life was we know what changed. Benefit 24 Brow, 24 Hour Brow Setter. 
this shit is like glue. If you got crazy brow hairs that like dance around throughout the day, or you got little squiggly worms for eyebrows like me, this actually makes the hairs visible and you know like they're actually there. People get really offended by other people's eyebrows and I love it. Like is your life that boring? If your phone can still recognise your face, you're doing it wrong. That's the goals here. Moving on to the eyeballs, I'm taking my Peter Wee's base. As always, there is literally an eyebrow in the middle of my eyelid. Some smoky smoke sort of pop a yellow on the inner corner. I figured, you know, if Kylie Jenner can break the internet by putting yellow on her inner corner, surely, surely I can too. Using... Obviously. How can people be sexy and do this? I don't know. I want to be a sexy beauty guru. I feel like I'm already failing miserably. First off, I'm going to take some Prophecy and pop that onto my outer corner, kind of all over the lid, mixing it with Savior just in the inner corner and to blend out the edges. Using this on my SK02 brush. Taking my SK03, mixing, sa mixing. mixing Savior with a little bit of fate. We're just going to blend the edges of this. But blowing out our eyeshadow super far, we're going to trick people into thinking our eyeballs are huge. I mean, my eyeballs aren't huge, what are you talking about? This is my favourite little brush for this, it just, other brushes that are too big just don't allow me to get the same shape as this, I mean. I love it. What goes up must come down. So I'm taking the bullet brush from my collection and just take it Prophecy and Savior again. What is that? Goopies. Yeah. And just running that underneath the eye. Then again, I gotta have fit to fit to fit. I gotta have fit to fit to fit. In the Urban Decay 24/7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Double Life. These cold pencil guys are so good, so good. I always try to go for like a shimmery waterline, it just, I don't know. It brings out the tones in your eyes, makes your eyes seem better than what they actually are. <laughs> Taking the smallest little brush from my collection and I'm gonna take some Faith and just start packing that onto the inner corner again. Kylie Jenner, who we don't know her. Sorry, Hunts. Then I'm gonna mix Faith with the White Veil and just brighten that up. I said this in a previous video, but if you mix white with your eyeshadows, it kind of creates a more, obviously a lighter effect. I wanna give this a little bit of a glow, so I'm taking the gold shade from the M -M -M Mitchell Sub-Zero palette and just popping that Mascara! I'm using Benefit Roller Lash. I used to use Bad Girl Bang but all dried out and then I started using this one and this mascara guys is so good. If you have teeny tiny little stumpy ass lashes like me you will love this. Sorry my natural lashes never look like this by themselves. I know they're still shit but like it's good for me, okay? But of course we're gonna put on lashes because look at that is the the number one thing to be in a catfish is eyelashes, honestly. It changes you as a person, as a human being, both look-wise and personality-wise. Just make you a better person all right, okay? And wear my lashes in the style Eagle. What I've been doing is applying the lashes when my mascara is still wet, and then what I do is I squish them. I squish them into the fake lashes. Not only have I got short eyelashes, I've got straight eyelashes. If I wear lovely fake curly eyelashes, you can see my little stubs like sticking out underneath. They're they're not just they just don't want to go away. Squishing them to the fake lash, it stops that from happening. Making the world an all round better place. Just applying some freckles using prophecy, the perfect freckle shade. And because it's a powder, it's super easy to blend out as well. Remember those spots we had earlier? <laughs> Don't know them. Newly appointed beauty marks. For lips, I'm going to shock you all and go for a nude. And I'm going to overdraw my lips within an inch of their life. I'm using MAC Boldly Bare. 
actually has more of a pinky undertone. Mm, we'll see. Oh wow, it's pink. Eee. Who is she? I'm gonna use my NYX lip liner in Cape Town to kind of nude this out a little bit. The lip is still a little bit just too pinky for me, but I'm kind of digging it. It's fine. We'll we'll, we'll leave it. Mm, yeah, we're gonna leave it. It's all right. What do we think? How are we looking? For happy enough. Look at I still have my little stick from my magic wand look. I mean, I still have my wand from my magic wand look. Moving on to hair. Literally slept with my hair in a plait last night. If you guys seen my last hair tutorial, and if you didn't, you're missing out. It's literally a lazy girl's dream. All I do is literally put my hair in a plait and take it out. <laughs> Mind blowing stuff, kids. We're gonna do some adjusting with my wand, just if there's any parts I think are weird. Another reason why my voice is gone, guys, is because Miss Queen Nikki, Nikki tutorial, she used the black heart lashes in her most recent tutorial. Time for lashes. These are the Sosu Kaylee black heart ones. She's the best. She's so like supportive and just kind like that. I'd honestly just love to meet her to tell her how amazing she is. And Miss Jamie G was using the brushes again. So supportive and just so nice and very surreal definitely to see like my faves with their hands on my collection. Like it's just, just weird. Anyone with the collection to be honest. I'm just like oh no that's supposed to be a secret. Why do you have it? <laughs> It hasn't, like, because I kept it a secret so long, it just hasn't, like, I don't know. Thanks for all the love, guys, on my recent video as well, by the way, of me using James's palette. I'm really loving the little, like, community we're building up here. I have a lot of positive people following me. No assholes. <laughs> just people who love to play around with makeup. I realise I sound so uninterested and so, I don't know, not... I don't know, but it's because of my voice, I swear. It makes me sound so droll. I kind of just like to ruffle it up the top. I don't like it to look too, too perfect, you know? Little... And there you go. That's what my hair looks like. This is the finished look for you guys. I really hope that you enjoy. I'll leave all details down below. That was me trying the sound upbeat. I can't, my throat, eh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for chilling, getting ready with me, learning how to catfish. The world. This is a joke before anyone gets their knickers in a twist. You should be confident with or without makeup. This is to all the boys and women who say that wearing makeup is a mask and that we're catfishing people. Yeah, I'm embracing it. Get out my ass. Now to catfish for the gram, all you gotta do is take 50 million photographs and pick the best one. Thank you guys so much for chilling with me. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video. You know, if you hit that little subscribe button. I also have more videos that you guys can chill and watch. You don't need to be going anywhere. I'm in a rush. But I'll stay here. I'll chill with you a little while longer. Listen, there's no pressure, but all I'm saying is you are really missing out. If you're not subscribed, if you haven't watched my other videos, you're missing out. Simple as. No other way to put it. Do you know what I'm most upset about right now is the fact that I'm not able to lie in bed and play Pokemon all day. Have you played the new Pokemon? Let's go. I love it.